sail float too. Hey guys, this is my review for It, a movie that I will right off the bat say it blew me away. Not only with how the film is made, not only with how great the child actors are, but with how genuinely scary this movie is. The film is obviously based off of the Stephen King novel, which was turned into an absolutely shitty miniseries. Yes, Tim Curry was funny, but he wasn't scary. That series never scared me. All I remember about it being is that it was boring and dragged, like sometimes King can do. First thing I will say, this movie has some of the best editing of this year, by far. The amount of content, the amount of character development, the amount of backstory, the amount of confrontations, and the amount of actual dialogue and story progression is amazing when you consider that this is all put within two hours. Literally on the mark of almost two hours. I could not believe it. But I had to actually check and see how much time had passed considering how much had happened, yet it had flowed so well. The child actors in this movie are amazing. Every one of them is fantastic, unique, and has a great addition to the story, whether it be their humor, their character development, and how they deal with it or Pennywise. Finn Wolfgard, or whatever his name is, from Stranger Things. You won't see him the same way in Stranger Things anymore. This kid is fucking savage. He's got burns left and right. He's got some of the funniest dialogue in this movie. Oh, here's another thing too. This movie's rated R. I didn't know that until literally going in. I just didn't really look much into it. I didn't think it was going to fail, I just thought it was going to be average, but however, within the first five minutes, you will see that this is an R-rated movie. Mainly with what happens with Georgie. Holy shit, Georgie. <laughs> Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise is fantastic. He has great humor, but he also is absolutely terrifying. The means of which how he uses fear to affect the kids is fantastic. The dialogue of this film is on point, whether it be with the characters progressing or with the humor. The humor is spot fucking on. This film does have Kerry Fukunawa, I believe his name is. Uh, he was the director of the first season of True Detective. He's a writer on this show and you can see his work in this film. One thing I also will point out is how good the cinematography is. It does a lot of this kind of tilting business, which is seen a lot in Korean or Japanese horror movies, and they use it really, really well in this film. All in all, the only things that I would say that might be a little bit effective is there is a lot of content, you are lost at some points, there is a reference to certain people who have gone missing, that show up for a scare later on, but the problem is you kind of mix them up with other people who have died. There are a few deaths that should affect the characters more, if not side characters, but you don't seem to see any sort of effect on them. They don't even react really. Uh, and then of course, this is a Stephen King trope, but the bully in this movie is a psychopath. He is an absolute insane person. Like they push it way too much in my opinion but it does work for what the film is it's just it's so ridiculous seeing this stupid bully stereotype over and over again but in the end it is one of the best movies of the year it not only is a great movie to watch it not only has a great cast but it is genuinely scary not just with the scares but with just the atmosphere i was so intrigued as to what i would see next i didn't even care that i had a bunch of drunk douchebags on their phones and chatting in front of me because i was so into it and admittedly every time a scare scene was coming everyone in the theater would stop talking which is you know a pretty good thing considering this day and age. So my final rating for it is a 6 out of 7. This is a near perfect movie. It is a amazing time, it is a great scare, and it's just a really good movie. Stephen King's probably happy that he's finally got a really good movie based on his horror work. He's had such great luck with his dramas and his life stories, but he's never had 
anything yeah besides the mist and a few other things have always been me like good or mediocre but this is exceptional you guys should definitely go out and see it anyways guys that's all for me i hope you enjoyed this review see you guys next time